It's only fitting that a house dedicated to creating online content would go viral. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we'll be taking a look at what exactly is the Hype House. I miss my taco, but it Based in Los Angeles, the Hype House is designed to bring creators together, primarily from TikTok, to create online viral content. Let's take a deeper look. Intended as a space for TikTokers to meet and do their thing, the Hype House is all about those coveted collaborations, making it easier than ever for TikTok's most famous faces to team up for a brief dance session or to lip sync to a trending song. In certain ways, the Hype House is following in the footsteps of Our Second Life or Jake Paul's Team 10, just with the focus understandably being on TikTok-style content over other social media platforms. So Team 10 is family. We are family. It's a group of people who live together. You can call it a squad if you want to. And what we do is we make videos, we live together, we collaborate together, and that's the beauty of it. TikTok would be nothing without its creators. So that raises the question of who exactly is part of the Hype House. While there are millions of active TikTok users, only a select few form part of this collective, with the total being around 19. Every great idea must originate somewhere, and in the case of TikTok's LA residents, the ones who should be thanked are Thomas Petru, a 21-year-old YouTuber associated with Team 10, and the 17-year-old Chase Hudson, otherwise known as Lil Huddy, a TikTok star with an ever-expanding fan base. When did you guys get the Hype House uh, or at, together? When did you get the Hype House together as the Hype House? Uh, technically, it was at the, at the Bryant <coughs> shoot. Technically, this started when we first shot with Bryant. Mm -hmm. But before that, we were already starting to do this, and we already started filming in here and using the, and the TikTok bathroom be became a thing before the Hype House became a thing. While Hudson and Petru were crucial to getting this ball rolling, they're just the tip of the iceberg. Some of TikTok's most prominent contributors are part of the Hype House, including the likes of the D'Amelio sisters, Avani Gregg, Connor Yates, and Addison Rae, creators with millions upon millions of followers on the short video social media platform. Skater boy. Chase's bestie. Charlie's bestie. Dancing Twins 1, Dancing Twins 2, Virgin, Best Trends, Natalie, Stuntman, Shorty, Charlie's sister. And Brian helps shoot the squad. And I'm a fake Dolan twin. However, as the name suggests, the Hype House is not just about the stars who are already dominating the scene. Nope, this collective is meant to support the aspiring creator seeking to establish a fan base. Who is all in the Hype House? Everything we follow on our social medias, they're all listed in the Hype House. We collaborate with lots of people, like people come in and out because they live in the area. Yeah, even people that we don't follow, you guys will see people like Anthony, Jaden, Bryce, they're always over, but they're not actually like a part of our team. Creators like Wyatt Xavier, Hootie Hurley, Calvin Goldby, and Patrick Huston may not yet have quite the same following as the Hype House's biggest names, but that's nothing a few collabs can't fix. Nick Austin, Daisy Keach, Ryland Storms, Alex Warren, Coover Annan, Jack Wright, James Wright, and the Lopez brothers round up the rest of the Hype House Collective. Now, in all fairness, just because someone's part of this team doesn't mean they live at the house full time. Otherwise, TikTok would need to set up a hype block. Who lives here? Everyone does their own thing, and a lot of people have their own homes, other places. Or there's people like Avani that live in her own place completely, but then she comes over and film content, films content with us and then people like me live here full time. So who exactly calls the Hype House home? At the moment, Alex Warren, Daisy Keach, Coover Annan, and of course, Thomas Petru live in the residence full time. While the remaining creators are constantly dropping in and out, with many of the young creators returning home to school. I don't like live here, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't do my homework if I was here. <laughs> While all the members have dedicated fans, the Hype House's most popular name is undoubtedly Charlie D'Amelio. Hi guys, it's Charlie, and I just want to say a huge thank you for 11 million. That's absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much. I am so, so thankful for each and every one of you, and I love you all. Goodbye. In the space of less than a year, the 15-year-old viral sensation has accumulated more than 20 million followers on TikTok by uploading short clips that typically feature her dancing or lip-syncing to songs trending on the platform. D'Amelio was nothing short of an overnight sensation, with all the creators' dance videos spreading like wildfire and inspiring many to do the same, even earning her a spot next to Jennifer Lopez in a TikTok promo for the Super Bowl halftime show. Unsurprisingly, the majority of the Hype House's creators are primarily known on TikTok, although a few have followings on other platforms. Daisy Keach has a strong presence on Instagram and YouTube as a fitness model, with some of her videos obtaining well over 1 million views. What did 
is up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am daisy and today we are just having a regular day in the hype house let's see how this goes i really don't know what is going down today it's something new every single time i wake up so we'll see along with a tiktok fan base in the eight digits addison ray's instagram profile has over 3.5 million followers Chase Hudson's rise to teenage heartthrob status might be mostly associated with TikTok, but Lil Huddy is also huge on Instagram, and the same can be said about Avani Gregg and other members of the Hype House Collective. Much like TikTok itself, most of the Hype House's social media personalities are still developing when it comes to content, style, and presence. Also, like TikTok at the moment, the sky really does seem to be the limit. Okay, boomer. As the duo primarily responsible for the Hype House, Hudson and Petru share most of the responsibilities when it comes to managing and financing the project. Towards the end of 2019, the two influencers came up with the idea of installing this TikTok collective, and within weeks, found the ideal pad to rent in Los Angeles. A lot of people also ask, do we own this house? No, we rent this house. We, we, there is an owner. We, we will one day own a, a house for this. But we just really wanted to, we wanted to do it already and dive into it. So we just rented this place. As the one living full time at the Hype House, Petru handles most of the day to day duties, be it scheduling or the use of the famous TikTok bathroom or ironing out any inevitable disagreements. Hey, Troy, where do you think you're going? I'm you can't leave. I'm you're part of the Hype House now. No! What exactly is the point of the Hype House? The goal is to help young influencers expand their reach by forming a network of collaborators who work together in a controlled environment dedicated to producing consistent content. As such, the Hype House is not a place to throw massive parties, and creators are under a strict mandate to maintain their workflow in order to remain part of the collective. We have a house of 20 people that post three to four times a day. Like we're talking about over 150 videos every single day from just our team. So it's like you're never gonna get bored on the app. While similar to something like Team 10, the Hype House is positioned less as a business that teaches budding influencers how to obtain a million viewers quickly, and more as a group of young colleagues who have come together to help each other grow. Petro and Hudson might have started this project, but the Hype House has no designated leader, and the creators own their respective content. Despite not living at the house, as the one with the most followers and clout, Charlie D'Amelio has been the Hype House's star since its inception. Often featured prominently on TikTok's For You page, D'Amelio's clips are seen daily by millions of people, spurring others to produce response videos and leading many to credit her for the group's initial success. Yo, Charlie, you gotta, you gotta carry us through this. You gotta carry the Hype House on your backs, guys. <laughs> While the Hype House is the biggest name in the game, it's not the only TikTok house out there. Yo, somebody's in the door! Welcome to the Sway House, come on in. The Sway House serves a similar purpose, while quite a few other houses have been created or are in the works that hope to provide a productive and more diverse place for creators to work their magic. The Hype House got off to an impressive start, with its page quickly accumulating millions of followers on TikTok. However, the project has attracted its fair share of criticism. Social media houses do not exactly have the greatest track record, and the Hype House has yet to prove whether it can buck such a trend. And the main reason that I'm so skeptical about the Hype House is because they're showing early signs of crashing and burning like the other social media groups that came before it, because they're focusing more on how famous the members are versus creating original content with those members. While the house's videos are doing well, that's a natural result of bringing together popular creators with pre-existing fan bases. The mere idea of seeing Charlie Demille and Chase Hudson in the same video is already enough to attract viewers, regardless of the quality of the video's content. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, hi, J, K, just kidding, L, M, N, O, laugh my nose off. While that's a good start, the real challenge is maintaining that momentum once the early hype dies down. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. While TikTok is no longer solely for 15 second lip syncing and dancing clips, content in that vein is still the most dominant on the platform and by extension, the hype house. 
Along with lacking much in the way of diversity in its members, the Hype House's content has been rather one note and too reliant on collaborations at the expense of experimentation or creativity. We got white boy in middle part, white boy with beanie, white boy with middle part, white boy with glasses, white boy with middle part, white boy in sweater, and then white girl who dances, white girl who dances, white girl who dances, white girl who dances, and let's not forget everyone's favorite, white girl who dances. The collective seems genuine in its ambitions, but the content is not quite there yet to justify the hype. Add to the fact that many of the Hype House's creators are not even 18 yet, and it's not too difficult to understand why TikTok's most popular group has attracted some opposition. People don't realize a lot of times we're, we're all really young, mm -hmm. and we're gonna make mistakes, and the problem is, is that our life is filmed. Raise your hand if you're a teenager still. Right. We put our life all on the internet because that's what everyone wants to see. Like one little mistake and then everyone attacks you for that. Only time will tell if the hype can withstand the hostility. I guess we'll have to wait and see if the hype house can challenge the reputation of other social media houses. Wait, what is this, like Game of Thrones? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM. And check out this video.